can and this is going to be my November unboxing of my Bella Box. Is this going to be my last Bella Box? You better stay tuned to find out. So as usual it comes in the blue and white box with BB on the front. This feels very heavy. I have actually had a sneak peek so I know why it feels heavy. Um, it comes stuck with a sticker but I kind of ripped it. So. Okay. So it comes with a card that tells you everything that is in here and the theme for this one is get your glow on. There is a, another little card in here which is actually for a brand of condoms. Not really what I was expecting to get in my bell box. Well, there you go. It's an advertisement for Moments Condoms. Brilliant. So the first things I see in here are a shampoo and conditioner with coconut milk, um, which is supposed to be good for elasticity, hydration and balance for healthy hair. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is going to be any good for my hair, seeing as how it's coloured. Um, this is sulfate free though, which is really, really good. I will probably pass these along. Um, I'll either give them to my kids to use up or I'll give them to my mum and she'll put them in one of her giveaway type things that she does with one of her groups. But um, yeah, not entirely happy to get these. And according to the little cardi thing, they are $18 for 385 mil. I'm the kind of person who pays like five bucks max for 500 ml of shampoo because the one that I buy only costs like that kind of money. The next thing I see in here is from Avodia Australia. This is a hand cream with avocado oil. Not upset about this. I like hand cream. I have a lot of hand cream but I like hand cream. Um, I can still smell it even though it is actually um, it is actually safety sealed but the smell it's coming straight through the safety seal. It smells nice. Um, it apparently has avocado oil and smells like Byron Bay frangipani, which sounds good to me. So I will no doubt put this in my collection to use up at some point. That product is $14.95 for 100 mil and this sample, this is like the travel size version of it. The lid does not want to show properly. Um, this is 50 mil. The next thing I s a condom, a moments condom. They actually included a condom in here. Um, it is um, a bonus item, and the other bonus item is from Nutramedics. It is the Ultra hair moisturizing system with hyaluronic acid and rhubarb root extract. It is basically just a moisturizer. Oh, okay. It is a serum, not a moisturizer. Um, so I might get more than one use out of this teeny tiny little sample. This 2ml sample. Surprisingly though, with a lot of serums, 2ml goes a really, really long way. Um, down the bottom of the box is the ingredients card for uh, one, two, three, four of the products. Um, it points out that the condom is in fact latex, so if you have a latex allergy, you will not be able to use that product. Next, we have a tea tree moisturizing and clarifying face mask. Um, this is a moisturizing Korean face mask made with extracts of tea tree to clarify and moisturize your skin. Again, if you're allergic to tea tree, you will not be able to use this because some people are allergic to tea tree. Um, apparently it is a triple layer sheet. It is, from what I can work out, just a cotton one. I've been trying to get into masks, so this will be an interesting one to actually try. Uh, they are, um, there was a choice of different ones, there was either acai berry, bamboo charcoal, manuka honey, pomegranate or the tea tree one. I probably would have preferred the pomegranate or the honey one, but there you go. These are $5.99 each. Masks in Australia, unless you go somewhere like Daiso, are stupid expensive. It's 
probably why I'm not that into them. And the last thing in here is from Manakadar. This is a glow illuminator. I'm not a huge, huge um, cream liquid highlightery type of person. Apparently this you can mix with foundation or wear it alone. Thing is, is that these products go with that idea that everybody wants to be slightly coloured like they don't want to be white at all. Um, yeah, it is very nicely sealed, I will give them that. And it's a brand that I don't think I've ever had before, although I've actually heard of it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the full size, this is 20 mil. Let me just read the thing. Um, yeah, their first sentence really doesn't help me here. Remember that time Kim Kardashian wore Manakadala's glow illuminator and looked like a radiant dewy goddess? No. Um, this 20 mil thing, this is the full size, is $29. Um, yeah, I would not be buying it. Um, it's an incandescent liquid highlighter that can be used on your face, decolletage, and all over your body so you can get some serious summer glow. The only glow that I really want to have in summer is the one that comes from being ever so slightly sweaty. But there you go. Um, so that is everything that is in my Bella box for November. Honestly, I am not happy with it. I mean, it's not bad, bad. Like these two in particular, I am. I'm, I'm fine with these. Are, these are both fine. This. Not so much. It may well be one of those things that I end up like putting in a giveaway or something because I doubt I'm actually going to use it. Um, these will almost certainly be handed on. Uh, I don't need to use condoms. Um, I can't get pregnant anyway and I'm in a relationship so uh, good idea, nice thought process. Not really useful to me and we all know how I feel about foil packets. So um, I am even though I'm only on bi-monthly, I am seriously considering cancelling. My only problem with cancelling is that there are really no other sample boxes in Australia that you can actually get, and that is sort of a bit sad. I'd really like to be able to um, do more, but we don't really have that option here. So, yeah, that might be the only thing that saves it, is the fact that I can't get anything else. So... <laughs> And I like getting like a little surprise every couple of months with some new stuff in it. So, yeah. So that is my Bella Box for November of 2017. It is my last Bella Box for the year. I guess you'll just have to wait till next year to find out whether I continue on with this or not. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxing type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.